So this is what I looked like in January and February of this year. As you can see right here, it says February. This is what I looked like. And then this is what I look like now. Yeah. So here's another little transformation. This is like before and after. As you can tell, I lost a lot of fat in my belly. Um, I used to be like a 33 inch waist and now I'm a 28 inch waist. So it's like a five inch difference. So what helped me lose the fat this year? First off, don't cling to the scale. Take progress pictures because the scale really doesn't mean shit, okay? That's the honest truth. Don't cling to the scale. We want fat loss, not weight loss. Weight doesn't really matter. And then 70% of your physique change is going to come from nutrition and the other 30% is going to be from moving more and lifting weights and all that. So let's talk nutrition. What do we need to be eating? What do we not need to be eating? Disclaimer, you can eat anything you want in moderation. So we need to be in a calorie deficit to lose weight. How do we figure out what our calorie deficit is? So to figure out our maintenance calories, we're going to multiply our body weight by a 15 to 17. 15 for less active people and 17 for more active people. So here would be an example of doing this. If you're 170 pounds like I was and then you're 15, not very active, you go to the gym, but you're not like always walking around, you know? Your maintenance would be 2,550 calories. So now that you have calculated your maintenance calories, we can calculate our deficit by subtracting 500 to 600 calories from that. So in this example that we've been using, 2,550 calories is our maintenance. We would subtract 500 to 700 from that amount, which would be 2,050 calories to 1,850 calories. This would be our deficit zone between these two numbers, okay? You do not want to drop down into that really low number too quickly because then it'll ruin your metabolism, you might binge, you, yeah, it's not good. I've tried that, don't do that. So start off slowly, like slowly subtract or add calories to your diet depending what you're eating right now. If you're eating really low calories, you have to add and reverse diet back up. If you're eating super high calories, then you need to subtract calories slowly. I did this over the course of six weeks, so take your time. I promise you it's worth it. So now that you know your calorie deficit, what are we eating? As far as what we're eating, you can literally eat anything you want as long as it fits your calories. As far as macros go, the only thing I really pay attention to is protein. So again, here's our example of a 170 pound person. So you want to multiply your body weight by 0.721 to figure out how many grams of protein you should be eating each day. So if you're 170 pounds, you should be eating between 119 grams of protein to 170 grams of protein every day. Just stay within that range. I would encourage you to eat more protein than less. It'll help. I'm sorry, I have to do a part two.